Hello, my more brothers, back again. <laughs> I have, you know, female trolls that when I talk about black female relationships, not with black female culture, black female to male culture in this United States, that every now and then I'll get the dominated, I'll get this conquered meme. And I just had one by this woman that thought she was being funny. And uh, I'm not even going to read the quote, but you can see the quote right there. And, you know, that I, I do believe this is from the B1 or the Cynthia G group, right, that comes in and, and, and tries to laugh and be funny, even though I'll put the quote on the screen. I'm not going to actually say it. You know, it's probably being mean. You can actually go to the thread and read it because I'll actually put the link in the description. You can go read it for yourself and see what my response was. And evidently, <laughs> trolls don't like to be trolled back. And they actually rely on you being nice and you being proper and you not retaliating. And every now and then, I troll back. So they're going to say something mean. I shoot back at them with something mean. And so I did. And after that, she didn't respond back. But... The whole gist of this particular session, this particular video is about that, about the conquered and that dominated thing, right? Because historically, it's actually a false meme. It's actually even a false premise. Black men in America weren't conquered. They weren't. They weren't conquered. Black men in America were actually bred, bred like cattle. Nobody conquers a herd of cattle. Nobody conquers a self-made class of people. They're not conquered. They're raised. They're developed. They're created. And the first thing they'll say is, well, how did you get on the boats? You know, like white men went to something called Negro land and actually waged war and took took up, uh, captivated all these men and brought them back on boats, which is the definition of being conquered. You actually conquer a land, you conquer a people. And for black men to be conquered, they their homeland would have to have to have been conquered and occupied then basically you enslaved there and then taken back none of that is true as much as we like to believe that the continent was conquered it was not conquered it has never the continent has never been conquered now have they been uh, under economic subjection yeah they have they wouldn't deny that have they been seduced to the dark side for the most part they had the the, the african continent especially sub-saharan continent could not have been abrogated Unless the people in that land agreed. Were they sub subjugated? Yeah. Economically and uh, politically, they were subjugated. They were never conquered. So what happened? What happens, what, what has been happening and is still happening. A combination of Africans on the continent, different tribes or different groups on the continent actually kidnapping each other, selling each other, buying each other, and then trading for each other and being put on the boat. The white man was just customers. White men didn't come over and conquer that land and bring people out. No, they were customers of a trade that had been there well before the white man was there. Even the Arabs on the other side, the Arabs didn't come in and conquer the sub-Saharan Africa. They didn't. And carry people off. They didn't. They engaged in an internal trade that was already there. So black men aren't conquered. Okay. They were sold by other groups that are inside the continent. And sometimes uh, it was lesser groups and sometimes it was dominant groups. It just depends. So even in the books that I read, black men and black slaves came from thousands of different places. And most of them were actually transported to places like Brazil, places like Haiti, places like San, you know, Dominican Republic, Cuba, where they're transported. Even amongst the French, they were transported. It was still an active external tra slave trade under Britain before 1780 when the colonies was, colonies were still under Britain before 1781 when the United States finally won its independence and separated there were only 300,000 slaves mostly male in 1780 Virginia Thomas Jefferson decided that since their land wasn't any good for for uh, prime production what they decided to produce instead of products was slaves. And to get more money for their slaves, they decided to cut off the external slave trade. And they cut off the external slave trade for two reasons. One, because of Haiti. Yes, Haiti. The only successful slave uprising in written history where slaves actually uprose, uprose 
and that she took over a landmass against the most powerful, then the most powerful army in the world, which is uh, Napoleon's France. It wasn't done before and hasn't been done since. And after that, the United States decided to cut off the external slave trade and breed their own. Why? Because external slaves were too dangerous. There are too many revolts. Conquered people don't revolt. Dominated people don't revolt. So they needed a more passive group of people, more passive slaves. That's why, that's why they started breeding their own. Black men were not conquered. 91% of black slaves, black people in America were not conquered. They were bred. They were dominated. They were created. They were created to serve in a particular segment of the population. The better word would be subjugated. The laws and the rules and the tools were, of subjugation were there, well, have been there up until 1968, they were there. And, and in some instances, it's still there. We don't run things because we didn't create this environment. And just because black women don't like their place doesn't mean things are gonna change. And as far as running things or beginning to run things or things actually getting better, black women, one of the biggest impediments to black men actually doing that. Why? Because black women don't want black men to run anything. That's the part that they don't put in. So most black women, Cynthia G included, spout off at the mouth that don't have any proof. They're just running at their mouth because they're frustrated. And guess what? They're the only women in the world to talk like this because the Spanish people that actually did uh, enslave indigenous folks in what we call Mexico and uh, up in basically, well, actually Mexico, because Mexico actually extended well into California. And they did enslave indigenous people. Cortez and his group, the, the Spaniards, actually wiped out 30 million uh, Aztecs alone, enslaving them. But you don't hear their women talking about that. You don't hear their women complaining about them being conquered. To this day, the Aztecs do not run anything. The, the mestizos do. But you never hear their women talk about how they were conquered and complain about their men. Why? Because those women belong to those men and have an organic connection to those men. Basically, you're conquered as a people. They were actually conquered. They were actually dominated. Still are to this day. But they're a people. They're an organic people. Black people in the United States are not an organic people. It, they're basically a mashup of a thousand different groups that were bred and smashed together and, and, and made a created class by white men and white society. So naturally, as St. Kevin Samuels actually said, uh, when he asked him point blank, do black women belong to black men? And even the psychologist said, I would have to say no. But black women want to say that they belong to us when it's convenient for them. They want to support us when it's convenient for them. But organically, black women were never our women. They weren't brought here to be our women. They were brought here to be a concubine for white men. It is what it is. That's why they were brought here. And then after antebellum slavery was ended, uh, the white man didn't have anything else to do with them, just like he didn't have anything else to do with the laborers that he lost that could no longer be enslaved. So they just pushed us together. Read Diane Stewart's book, Black Women, Black Love. They pushed us together. So they made families. Well, the white men actually made families. They pushed, they pushed black men, black male slaves and black female slaves, black female concubine slaves together and said, make a family under these rules. There's nothing organic about it. That's like black women don't feel they belong to us. They don't. And they feel that way when it's convenient for them not to feel that way. But the thing is, when they feel they're not getting their just due and they wanted to use racism and, and white supremacy and, and use the, uh, as Dr. Johnson calls, flat blackness, then they want to say that there are women and how come we're not defending them or how come we're not doing better for them. So this idea that black men are conquered Black men in America are conquered is a lie. We weren't conquered. There was no white man with guns that went to, to a foreign soil, won victories, and pulled back black men as, as uh, spoils of war. There was never a war. Even the Africans who were silent for like 100 years admit that. There wasn't a war. They were sold. There's business. There's no conquering in business. It's called a deal. Even us being developed as concubine is called a deal. The white man made a deal with the black woman to develop hands or slaves for him. That's the deal. You can't conquer babies born out of a womb. You all, you can all, all you can do is socialize them. They were socialized to be slaves. They were socialized to 
accept subjugation. That's why civil rights shocked white people. They thought we accepted our place. There's Dalits in India that have been under subjugation of the upper classes for 2,000 years. They weren't conquered, they were subjugated. Black men in America that, that's at the bottom of a caste system weren't conquered, they were subjugated. They were developed, they were bred, they were created, and then subjugated with the help of supposedly their own women. Go back to Sojourner Truth in, 18, in the 1850s, 1860s. Go to the suffragettes in 1920s and go to the womanists or the feminists in 1970. Still today, they oppose the Monaghan Report because they don't want to be led by their men. But that's a dirty little secret. You're supposed to fight the system that created you and put black women on the throne so they can get their white womanhood moment. And think that we don't know that, that, we, that we're not hip to it. And we're supposed to be embarrassed by it just because you're going to tease us and you're going to throw that in our face with something that we couldn't control and try to make it so when it's not true. Just proves, yes, guess what? You're really not our women because every, every other group of women actually are on your side and support you. I don't hear Native American women talking about their men being conquered or dominated, even though they actually were conquered and dominated. But the reason black women can say it is because they know it doesn't apply and it didn't happen. It's their frustration because they can't, they're actually subjugated by Miss Ann and they don't like it. Suck it up, cupcake. It is what it is. Truth be truth. Anyway, I didn't want to make this long. This is actually a very short rant. Had to get it off my chest. So this is BGS out now. See you guys on the next one. Peace.